Hello everyone. Today we are working on fractional distillation and we're going to use a mixture of water and ethanol. Let's start by getting a 25 ml mixture into a 50 ml round bottom flask. Here's my mixture. Let's transfer 25 milliliters. And then transfer to a 50 ml round bottom flask, which is the distillation flask. Remember to put two boiling stones. Now our starting solution is ready. Get started with packing the distillation column with some copper. We'll be packing some copper turning into the distillation column. Attach a ring clamp onto the ring stand. clamp to hold the distillation round bottom flask. And attach a clamp to hold the 50 ml round bottom flask. So this is where your mantle will be sitting and this will be attached right here. Again, dip it in some tap water, which acts as a lubricant for easy attachment of the Tigon tubings into your distillation column. Once you connect your round bottom flask, place the distillation column with the copper on it. And your thermometer adapter goes on top of your three-way connector on top. Now we are going to connect a condenser with the water connection right here. Make sure to use a keg clamp. At the end another keg clamp holding the vacuum adapter. Now we are going to put the collection flask at the end of the vacuum adapter. Make sure to turn on the water. And now is a good time to turn on the Bariac. Put the Bariac between 70 to 80% and wait for the mixture to start boiling and distilling.
right now the temperature is around 60 degrees Celsius. Now the temperature is around 70 degrees Celsius. Keep an eye on the temperature while it still distills. Right now the temperature looks around 62 degrees Celsius, which tells most of the more volatile component, which is ethanol, has been distilled. So it's a good time to turn off the heating and lower the mantle. We will go ahead and unclamp the collection flask. Let the setup cool off for a few minutes before we start dismantling the setup. I am dismantling the setup. The copper turnings can be pushed from the distillation column and let it dry before it can be reused. We will go ahead and get the density of the distillate that we collected in the 25 ml round bottom flask. So I'm using a, a small beaker, empty and dry. I'll tear the mass and use a one milliliter pipette with the auto pipetter and measure exactly one mil and get the mass. So when you're measuring the density, it's grams per milliliter. That is what we are trying to achieve, measuring the grams for one milliliter solution. Go ahead and record the mass. We will tear the mass again and then add another one milliliter and record the mass. We are doing three trials for measuring the grams for a milliliter solution. Tear the balance and measure the third trial. At the end of the measurement, both the solutions can be combined and you can transfer it back to the beaker you collected it from. Since it's a mixture, it can be reused. At the end of the fractional distillation, we were able to separate the mixture of ethanol water. And here are the three trial for the densities that we measured. And the average density obtained was 0.8 grams per milliliters. If you look at the table for the percent yield of ethanol with the density, you would see that we were able to obtain the average density around 0.8, which tells percent yield of ethanol was 95%. Since water ethanol mixture is a azeotropic mixture, that is the best separation that could be achieved through a fractional distillation. Thank you.